Uh, my name is Tomoko Takayanagi. I'm a director of uh, Japan Service Dog Association. And Service Dog Association is um, providing service dog, which um, that helps the people with disability to be independent and go around by their own. Um, uh, the service dog can help the people with disability, like picking up things, opening doors, opening refrigerators, and taking bottles from there, or um, uh, the helping the walking balance and the various kinds of tasks that is required from the each person's disability. And um, uh, it's the service dog history is quite. Uh, short, only 10 years, and we uh, there are only 62 service dogs in whole Japan. So we like to have more and more service dog in Japan, and uh, so we um, work very hard to promote this program in all over Japan. And um, our facility is in Nagakute, uh, Nagakute uh, city, which is in Aichi Prefecture. And um, this is the only uh, service dog training facility in whole Japan. Uh, our facility is named Cynthia's Hill. And Cynthia is the first service dog in Japan. Uh, we need many, many volunteers, uh, especially like puppy home and puppy, the puppy raisers and uh, the helping the, uh, the facility cleaning up or um, uh, some dogs carry a change, um, not for the service dog but to, to, to the, the or, ordinary pet. So we, we like to have more and more people who want to have pet dogs from our facility as a pet and um, uh, and also the one of the biggest um, issue for us is not many people know about service dogs. There are many many people who knows about guide dogs but our uh, type of uh, service dog uh, which helps the people with physical disability are not known. So there are many many people who reject uh, in the restaurants or supermarket or even taxi uh, no dog even for service dog so I like more and more people to know just about our program and service dog and, and it's um, how it's important for the people with disabilities <laughs> 